simplifying algebraic fractions. Okay, when it comes to simplifying algebraic fractions, you need to go back to uh, adding, fract adding or subtracting or multiplying and dividing fractions. So let's start with uh, some basic knowledge. So this is your prior knowledge. So let me, it's always good to go back to revise or go back to your prior knowledge. If you don't, have, if you struggle with this knowledge, you will struggle with algebra. So let's start with adding fractions. Suppose you have, say, one half plus three quarters. Now, when you're adding or subtracting fraction, the basic rule is you have to make the bottom numbers or the denominators equal. So, well, I want to make both of them. Say, I can make two into a four, so I have to multiply the two by two. So, I have to do the same thing to the top number. Now four is, four is already there, so I'm going to multiply this by one for the sake of multiplying. So this becomes one half has now become two quarters. One half is equal to two quarters. That idea you should have plus three quarters, which is five quarters. This is fine, but if you want to simplify, this is one and one quarter. Okay, so, so this is addition, so this is the addition. So let's take subtraction. Okay, so if it is three quarters, take away one quarter, one half, sorry. So the same principle, so I'm going to multiply this by two, to multiply this by two. So this is same as three quarters, take away two quarters. So, okay, how did I get this phi? This is two plus three is five. And this is a student struggle. You add the top numbers and you don't add the bottom numbers. Okay, so that is five quarters. Okay, one half plus three quarter is five quarters. Or you can, even without doing this, you should be able to see that one half is two quarters. So you've got two quarters and three quarters makes five quarters. And five quarter, is four quarters plus one quarter. And that's why it is one and one quarter. So from three quarters, if you take away one, two quarters, you get one quarter. So this is the basic idea when you're adding or multiplying, sorry, adding or subtracting fractions. But if it is dividing, sorry, multiplying, what if it's one half times three quarters? It's very, very easy. You just multiply the top number, so it's one times three, over two times four. So multiplying is pretty easy, that is three eight. Or if you think in a different way, what is one half of three quarters, those who understand, this is mechanical, but those who want to understand, one half times quarter is asking the question, what is half of a quarter? What is half of three quarters? half of three quarters, if you want to write this as English, and that is three eighth. Okay, so let me finish off with subtraction, suppose, sorry, division. So one half divided by three quarters. Here I'll show you a technique. So dividing by three quarters is same as multiplying by four thirds. So one half times divided by three quarters is same as multiplying by four thirds. So when you change the division to multiplication, the number that comes after the sign has to swap over. So this is mechanics. But I'll explain why this is like this. So this is four, four sixth, and four sixth is two thirds. Okay, so this is, I hope you know these things. But to explain why this swaps over, let me explain. Suppose someone is asking you what is phi divided by phi divided by two. Okay, so this, if you want to write this as a multiplication, phi divided by two, you should be knowing is two point five. This is same as asking what is phi times half. So this two over one, which is two, swaps over. And five times half 
5 times half is 5 over 2. How did they get a 5? 5 times 1 is 5, 1 times 2 is 2, which is 2.5. So you remember this as a simple rule. When you divide, changing the division, you can change the division into multiplication. And then you swap it around. Okay, so let me again say you, you can do this even for multiplication. Say what is the 6 times 2? 6 times 2 is 12. This is same as asking what is 6 divided by half. Hmm? 6 times 2 is 12 and 6 divided by half is also 12. Okay, now this is one idea you should understand. Suppose what is 6 plus 2? 6 plus 2 is same as this is 6 plus plus 2. So this is same as 6 take away negative 2. 6 take away negative 2 or 6 plus 2 is 8. Okay, so let me do 6 minus 2. 6 minus 2 is 6 minus plus 2 is same as asking what is 6 plus negative 2. So can you see the a pattern here? If you change the addition to subtraction, you have to change the number from positive to negative. And this is subtraction, so I have to change this. I change the negative to or minus to plus. So I have to say, change the plus 2 to minus 2, which will give you 4. Okay, so keeping this in mind, so you are applying the same logic here. Numbers and algebra are one and the same. Okay, so numbers or letters in numbers is what algebra is. So this is, I want to make this 4, so I'm going to multiply this by 2. So to multiply also with top by 2. So this is 2a over 4 plus b over 4. Okay, and then yeah, the denominators are the same, so that is 2a plus b over 4. And that's your answer. Okay, so this is as simple as that. We are making the denominators equal, equal and you are adding the numerators. Okay, so here I want to make the denominators equal. So can you think of a number which you can divide, uh, which is divisible or which you can divide 5 and 4 with? Okay, so I can make both of them 20 because 5 and 4 goes in 20. So I'm going to times this by 4 so to multiply the top by 4. I'm going to multiply this by 5, so to multiply this by 5. So what happens, this is 16a over 20, take away 5a over 20. So this is 16a, take away 5a over 20. And 16a, take away 5a is 11a over 20. Okay, so for each question, I would like you to pause the video and try to do this yourself. Okay, so here, the next question, here you got 2x and here you got 6y. So here is a bit tricky. I want to make both of them, so I'll say, I'll write the least common multiple. So I'm going to make both, I, want, I can make both of them 6xy. This is a bit tricky. I want to make the denominators let me write common denominator, CM. CM stands for the common denominator. First, let's decide the common denominator. So the denominator that I can make both 2x and 6y, I want to make it 6xy. So well, I'm going to multiply this by x. That will make it 6xy. So I have to do the same thing to the top number. And I'm going to multiply this by what 2x times what gives you 6xy? Well, that is 3y. So do the same thing times 3y. So this becomes 9y over 6xy. 9y over 6xy plus x over 6xy. And now you just add the numerator, so that is 9y plus x over 6xy. And you can't add the numerators because they are unlike terms, and this, that is your answer. 
Okay, so moving on, what can I do here? I can make both the denominator, so let me write a common denominator, I will make 12. So here I'm going to multiply this by 3, this I'm going to multiply by 3. So if you multiply this by 3, you can also multiply this by 3. So I'll write 3 in front of x minus 1. I'm going to multiply this by 4, so I can multiply this by 4. So this becomes 4 times x plus 2 plus 3 times x minus 1 over 12, the common denominator which is 12. So let's open the bracket. So this is 4x plus 8 plus 3x minus 3 over 12. So let me finish off here. So here, let me write here. So, so this becomes, so let's group the like terms. So this is 4x plus 3x plus 8 minus 3 minus 3 over 12 and so your answer is 7x plus 5 over 12 okay so moving on here we are multiplying so when you're multiplying basically uh, it's a good practice, you can directly do it, but I would like to do like this. So this is 4, this means you can just multiply 4m squared n times 2m n squared over the denominator, which is 3n squared times 6m n. So now you, you have to use the exponent rule, so let me group the so let me exp write this in the expanded form. So this is 4 times 2. This is 4 times m squared times n. So I'm going to just group it like this. So this is m squared times m times n times n squared over. Let me group the number. So this is 3 times 6. Because you're multiplying, you can multiply in any order. Times m times n squared times n. So this simplifies to 4 times 2 is 8 times, this is m squared times m is m cube times n cube over 3 times 6 is 18 times m times n cube. Okay, so let me write this like this. So this is, can I write this as 2 times 4? 8 I can write as 2 times 4 times m cube times n cube. Okay, so I can cancel the n cube like this. n cube and n cube gets cancelled. So divided by I'm going to write 18 as 2 times 9 times n, m. So now you can cancel the 2's. And now you can simplify this. So this is m cubed divided by m raised to 1. That would become m squared. Okay, hopefully you know the power rules. So this is 4m squared over 9 is your final answer because m so let me explain how you got m squared so if you want to understand this this is m times m times m divided by m so the m's gets cancelled or if you want to use the uh, index uh, the rules of indices so this is 3 raised to m divided by 3 raised to sorry m cubed divided by m is m raised to 3 minus 2. Sorry, m minus 1, and that's how you got m squared. Or if you don't understand this, you expand this. 
So m and n gets cancelled. What remains is m squared, which is here. Okay, moving on to this. So let me expand this. So this is directly writing it. So this is 4a squared b over 3 uh, b d squared. So your b's and b's gets cancelled. You can't simplify this more than that. So this is the answer, final answer is 4a squared over 3d squared. Okay. And finally this. So let me directly do. So 2 times, so 4 times 6 is 24 divided by 3 times 2 is 6 times. So let me write it separately. You've got x squared. I'm going to write like this. So this is x squared over x squared. Okay, you've got y times y, y divided by y. Then you've got d and b here. Okay, so you've got, okay, yeah, you've got, you've got a b squared here, you've got a b squared here, b here. So this is b squared divided by b times d. I hope you can see this. So this is 3 times 2 is 6. You've got an x squared, you've got a y, and you've got a b. So d is a loner. Okay, so now you can do like this. You can cancel your x squared and x squared, y and y. Okay, now 6, six goes in 6 once, and 6 goes in 4, sorry, 24, 4 times. So what is remaining? That's your answer. You got 4 b squared d in the numerator. Oh yeah, so this and this simplifies. So this, so let me write this in one, one more step. So this is 4. So this simplifies to b squared divided by b. So if you want to simplify that, that is b times b divided by b. So the b's gets cancelled. So this is 4bd is your answer.